adjustment of sugar and acid concentration. In making jam, jellies, and other food products with sugar concentrates, the right sugar concentration is very important. On the other hand, fruit juices must have the desired acid proportion to give the best fruit product. Thus, knowing how to determine and adjust the sugar and acid concentration is very crucial. Bricks or Acid Ratio Bricks Acid Ratio The Bricks Acid Ratio is the sweetness to tartness relationship. It gives a ratio compared with unity which forms a comparative scale for the acceptability of juice concentrates. The Briggs unit is the concentration of dissolved solids in an aqueous solution or the percent soluble solids. While the acid unit is the concentration of citric acid in the citric juice. Methods for calculating Briggs acid ratio Sugar concentration The Pearson square is widely used method for determining the and calculating the degree Briggs. It is as follows. We write the initial soluble solid, the percent purity of sugar, the desired soluble solid, difference between initial soluble solid and desired soluble solid, and the difference between purity of sugar or the desired soluble solid. The percent purity of your sucrose is assumed to be 100%. If syrup is used, the concentration of the syrup will be used. Say is percent syrup. Water is 0 percent soluble solid. Given a certain weight of sugar or water, the weight of sugar to be added to obtain the desired soluble solid may be obtained by the formula. A over B times weight of juice or water is equal to the required amount of sugar to be added. Here are the examples. Problem. How much sugar is necessary to add to 20 kg of water to make it 35 degree drink syrup? Okay, so here is a given. Percent soluble solid of water is 0. Percent purity of sugar is 100. Weight of water 10 kg required drinks 35 degree drinks. Water is 0 degree soluble solid. The percent purity of your sucrose is assumed to be 100%. The required degree breaks is 35 degree breaks. A is the difference between initial soluble solid and desired soluble solid. Thus, 0 minus 35 is equal to negative 35 or 35. B is the difference between purity of sugar and desired soluble solid. Thus, 100 minus 35 is equal to 65. Then we use this formula. We write 35 for A and write 65 for B. We write 20 for the weight of the water or liquid. We divide 35 by 65 and multiply the answer to 20 for the weight of the water or liquid. Thus, we get 10.8 kg of sugar as a desired amount of sugar to be added to the solution.